Hey, it's Heather here, and I have to warn you, it is really early where I'm at. Like, really early. Clock says 327. So it's 327 where I am. What in the world am I doing awake and why <laughs> am I on video? And here's the message for you. I have been struggling with insomnia for years and it might just be the greatest mind challenge that I have experienced in my life. And I want to share this with you because there are so many lessons around um, for me that I want to share with you around insomnia, not sleeping, worry, trying to control that which you can't control. So why am I up at, at 3.30? I don't know. I don't know why I'm awake. I've been awake for hours and a lot of times this is when I get some of my best ideas. Um, my fervor for like um, learning, diving in, researching happens in the middle of the night. And I have long since learned that rather than fight it, rather than fight it and try and force sleep and lay there for hours and hours and hours with nothing to show for it, I have learned to make something of these hours. And what a great life lesson right? So here's what I know for sure about uh, insomnia, sleep, and just being productive and feeling good the next day, no matter what. Your mind, whatever we think, our body will follow. In the early years of me not sleeping, there's anxiety around that because you start to watch the clock and I've only had two hours of sleep or I'm only going to net four hours of sleep. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. I'm going to be so exhausted. And what happens tomorrow? All of those things. You're exhausted. You don't feel great. Um, you're tired. It's because you're mentally reminding yourself over and over and over. So at some point in this journey for me, I have learned to make this switch of, dude, if I wake up early, I'm up early. It doesn't matter, right? Because every day, you can be a broken record every day. I didn't sleep. I'm so tired. I just, I just didn't get enough of what I needed, you know? And the reality is, who says? Who says? Your body is telling you to get up. Your body is telling you, I'm awake. For whatever reason, it really doesn't matter. But society tells you, you need these this many hours of sleep. Society tells you it's crazy train to be awake and functioning at 3.30 in the morning. But your body is telling you something else. And so my friend, what I want you to take away from this today is a reminder that your mind is going to dictate everything that you experience in the day. So it becomes less about trying to control what you want your body to do and control your mind and how it relates to that, right? There's a rewiring of the scripts of the expectations of who everybody else says you should be and how you should behave and the rhythms that your body should have. And it's more about preparing yourself to have an incredible day, no matter how you slept, how you didn't slept, whatever, right? This is so important. My reminder to myself each day is I have proven to myself over and over and over that small amounts of sleep really don't affect my day. So I take care of myself. I make sure I eat well. I make sure I have a great nighttime routine. I have a great morning time routine with meditation and preparation. It all starts here. So what am I going to do at 3.30 in the morning? Well, after this video, I'm going to hit the gym. Because every morning when I wake up, that's the first thing I do. And this is something I've learned. I can lay in bed for the next two hours waiting for gym time. Or I can just go now and maybe I come home and take a nap. Maybe I come home and eat breakfast. Maybe I get come home and get to work. It really doesn't matter. Focus on how you want to feel. This is key. Focus on how you want to feel and get your mind working on producing that for you in real life. So I want to feel incredible today, no matter what time I got to bed, how much sleep I have. And that starts with me setting my routine, setting my intentions, and making sure my mind tells my body how to behave. All right, there you have it, my friend. I hope you have an incredible day. And here's to sleeping better, but more importantly, feeling better no matter what. Mwah.